Hey, Collider fans. Well, it looks like Paramount is going back into the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Jeff Snyder, John Rocco, we're going to talk about that next. All right, Jeff, we saw this first from THR, but you have confirmed it over from the people you know at Paramount. This is happening. They are rebooting, rebooting the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, franchise again, but Michael Bay and Platinum Dunes are still involved yes. in this thing. So the last two were kind of not well received from the critics. It, the, the first one made a lot of money, the second one not as much. What was what is your response when you hear that they're going to reboot it but still keep Michael Bay Platinum Dunes involved in this? I like the idea of rebooting it because by the time of what was it Out of the Shadows, yeah, that the, was the Shadows. second one called yep. that, that yeah, that franchise was for children, it was no good. Yep. I actually didn't mind the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, yeah. you know, that that Platinum uh, Dunes did. That's 2014 it made 493 million. Right, yeah. it did it did really well and then you know the second one made about half as much. Yeah. So I, I totally understand why they'd want to reboot it. I hope that they're going in a darker direction with this. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mm -hmm. as a kid. My favorite was Donatello because he was the brains of the operation. I always thought that Michelangelo was a little obnoxious and Raphael yep. was a bit of a dick. And I never wanted to be like the leader like Leonardo, but that was your favorite, yeah, right? Yeah, Leonardo was my favorite. I liked the He took care of business because I'm personally more like Michelangelo, but I, but I like that Leonardo handles things because I like to be goofy within a within parameters. So Michelangelo Well, I know favorite. these movies are for kids, but I, I would like to see them have a little bit of a darker edge. And maybe that's mm -hmm. what you're going to get when you hire Andrew Dodge, uh, whose credits include bad words that Jason Bateman comedy that was absolutely right. filthy yeah. uh, with with a young Indian boy Rohan Chand. With a great heart. The film oh, yeah, yeah, great yeah. Heart in it. yeah. Um, but I like that he wasn't afraid to put these filthy uh, words in a small child's mouth. Mm -hmm. And I, and not that I'm expecting that, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> Michelangelo to start dropping the F word before every cowabunga, but I, I like yeah. the hiring of Andrew Dodge. I think it, that this bodes well for the directions they want to take this. Well, he's also doing Lucky Jam, uh, Space Jam too, so uh, I wonder how much of that, is, like, is it going to be a good combo of both because i'll be honest with you because if you read the source material from the comic books teenage mutant ninja turtles gets pretty dark in certain storylines right. so i agree with you jeff i think this is the way to go obviously you don't want to make it too dark and then risk alienating the fan base even more especially coming out of what happened with michael bay i'm a little concerned i love michael bay i love the transformers movies but i'm concerned that people who love the teenage mutant ninja turtles of property are concerned would be concerned or hesitant to walk back into a film that's still produced by michael bay maybe not necessarily directed by michael did bay. you just say you love the transformers movies? i do really? i enjoy oh, them for the, what they are which is crazy well, stupid fun. Well, again, I don't know how hands-on Michael Bay is going to be with this. Right. You know, obviously, he, he's uh, a director, and I'm sure he has his fingers in a whole bunch of different pies right now, including that Netflix movie right. uh, Six Underground with Ryan Reynolds. Ryan so Reynolds. this will be more of a, a Andrew Form, Brad Fuller thing. Okay. Uh, I, I like those guys. Fuller I like Brad Fuller. Form are, are good guys. Um... I, I just I want to see them sort of move away from Shredder and yeah. that like mythology, you know, like it's just it's just the same villain over and over. Okay. I really liked Krang. Was Krang in this? He was in the second one, yeah, right? Yeah. He popped up. I like I like Rocksteady and Bebop and that kind of thing. But maybe just some original characters, okay. you know, rather than just the same beats over and over. Do you want to see them like like what we saw in those last two movies, like kind of in essence of? I don't know, uh, matching like physical matching. Like, do you want or do you want to be animated? Do you want CGI or do you want more practical effects? I like the practical effects because okay. um, I think you can just smell when the CGI is, is kind of BS. Yeah. Uh, what I would like to see is, is a real like, s not a uh, you know someone who can sell a s April O'Neil as a season reporter, not yeah. Megan Fox. Right. You Agreed. know, I thought I thought the handling of April O'Neil in these movies has been really bad. Yeah. Can we get a decent April O'Neil, someone who I actually buy and and seems like a mature, responsible reporter? That's all I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. Well, fair. I respect that as well. I like that as well. So, yeah, uh, Jeff Snyder is in the camp of old trilogy Yoda, not prequels Yoda. Want more practical <laughs> effects. So I respect that. And I, I do too. So we'll see what comes of this. People love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so it's smart of Paramount to to want to uh, uh, reboot it. And now let's hope they do it in a way that can launch what? a trilogy and be good. Let me ask you this before sure. we sign off. We Does sign it have to be teenage? Like, you know, what if we well, get some... Teenage middle-aged Ninja Turtles doesn't really what if you work. Just teenage but what if, what if you just call college. the Ninja Turtles? You know, it doesn't have to be... How about Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles? That's it. That, that could be fine. You okay. don't need the teenage. I feel like we've already sort of seen their growing pains. Okay. Maybe some more grizzled, uh, amphibious crime fighters. I don't know if it's an amphibian or reptile. I'm really bad, but <laughs> <laughs> th that's the direction I would take things. All right. So there's a lot for you to speculate. What do you all think when you hear this? Are you excited? Are you worried that Michael Bay's Platinum Dudes might still be involved? Or do you trust Brad Fuller on its side of things? Do you want to see CGI? Do you want to see practical effects? Or And then do you know if they're amphibian or uh, land mammals? 
I don't know. Do you want, let us know in the comments section below. Uh, and remember to like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to Collider for more news videos just like this. Cowabunga!